20-year-old Marie Rumet from Estonia takes on 37-year-old Little Tiger from Japan. Let's learn a little bit more about these two. Six-time Muay Thai world champion, Little Tiger, began learning karate at age four, igniting a lifelong passion for combat sports. Little Tiger continued to pursue a career as a professional combat sport athlete. After turning pro in kickboxing, Little Tiger soon found a home in Muay Thai and moved to Thailand to perfect her craft. The move served her well, as the seasoned veteran claimed multiple world titles over the course of almost 60 professional bouts. Tonight, Little Tiger makes her one championship debut against fellow newcomer Marie Rumet. Born and raised in Estonia, Rumet began training in Muay Thai at age 15, and only two years later moved to Thailand to chase her dream of being a professional combat sport athlete. I first came to Thailand when I was 17, just for a fight camp for like two months. After those two months, I went back home, packed my bags and told my parents that I want to move to Thailand. They saw like all of my passion was left in Thailand. <laughs> so yeah, eventually they said, okay, go, go and chase your dreams. Training full time in Thailand, Rumet sharpened her technique to complement her natural power, resulting in an impressive 44% finishing rate over her 27 wins. Tonight, Rumet steps into a classic battle of youth versus experience as the 20-year-old faces seasoned veteran Little Tiger. Little Tiger is a six-time world champion and I definitely need to watch out for the left kick and the left punch, but I think I can handle it. やっぱりアジア最大級って言われてるワンチャンピオンシップで戦えるのはすごく自分のキャリアの中でもすごいオブタイだと思うのでこのキャリアの中でもそこで戦えることはすごく嬉しく思ってます世界の人たちにリトル
look for Little Tiger to try and get in and outs down the outside, work the longer techniques, even though she's the shorter of the two. Look for Marie Remet to move into the clinch, work the knees, work the elbows. That's immediately where the Estonian goes. The 20-year-old has a great clinch game on it. Continually trying to grab the back of the neck of her shorter opponent, work the Muay Thai clinch. And once you control the opponent's neck and head, you can swing the body into your knees. And of course, pivot the head into your elbows as well. Uppercut elbow, crossing elbows early from Rumet. Good check there from Little Tiger. Ayaka Mialji was given the name Little Tiger by a very famous name. If you're a pro wrestling fan, you'll know the name of Satoru Sayama, the Tiger Mask. Her mentor. Crossing elbow again there from Marie Rumet. Round kick from Rumet, follow through right hand, moves into the clinch. That transition, Mitch, from the outside to the inside, snaking that clinch around the neck is beautiful from Marie Rumet. Yeah, she uses her reach really well and then closes the distance and ties her up and then immediately starts firing off elbows. Southpaw stance for Little Tiger. You can see her continually trying to come over the top with that power left hand every time Marie Rumet moves in. The thing with being a Muay Cow, which is a type of athlete, a Muay Thai athlete who relies primarily on the clinch and knees like Marie Rumet, is that while they're trying to swim the hands out and snake those arms behind the head, they are momentarily open to a counter strike. Watch Little Tiger try to counter with that right hand as Marie Rumet moves in for the clinch. But so far, Marie doing a great job on the clinch, tying her up, drilling the knees, trying to fold her in half like origami. Step through elbow off the back arm there from Marie Rumet. Again, clinches up Little Tiger. Little Tiger having difficulty with the clinch game of Marie Rumet with under one minute remaining, set for three rounds of action. Some early damage on Little Tiger. She's a multi-time world champion, WPMF world pinweight and mini flyweight champion, WMC world pinweight and mini flyweight champion. Also won the Adam Wade International title with the WBC. Has been on the Thai scene for a long time, Dragon. Yeah, she's been out here a long time, training out there in Chiang Mai. She's constantly moving around, competing in the stadiums. She's got a lot of experience at just 20 years old. And, but in this matchup, we're seeing her just turn on the pressure. It's constant. It's like a faucet. It just never shuts down. She's con always working those long-range weapons like that push kick. Then she skips into the clinch and then starts firing off knees and elbows. Marie Rimet back into the clinch where she is most comfortable. Phuket Rawai Boxing Stadium champion, Chiang Mai Boxing Stadium champion, and only 20 years old. Also a blue belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but won't get a chance to use the BJJ tonight. Nice left hand down the center there from Little Tiger. Needs to rely on that left hand, does Little Tiger. Rumet, nice high guard, slings the legs of a shorter opponent, steps through with a knee right hand, high right round kick. Good work here. All tied up again, center of the ring. Rumet, who just recently switched camps, has been focused on an old school style Thai training. You can see that in the way she's using the clinch game, the knees and the elbows tonight. And we look at some of the action from that first round. That was the plan of Marie Rumet Dragon. Move into the clinch, lock her up, tie her up, work the knees, drill the elbows. Yeah, and she's moving around really well. Her clinch game is so strong. She's really got a good hold of the back of her opponent's head, and she's directing it all sorts of places. Little Tiger's got to try to swim in. She's got to get her arms on the inside and not let her head get controlled like that. Rumet's just firing off knees and elbows every time she gets into that clinch. You can see her volume is just so much greater than Little Tiger. Little Tiger's got to keep that space and do those low kicks to stop that oncoming pressure coming from Rumet. Don't forget, folks, give us a follow across all your social media platforms at One Championship on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. How do you score the first round here between Marie Rumet and Little Tiger? The three kicks us off. Second round of three. Little Tiger comes quickly out of her corner. Southpaw stance immediately goes for that left hand being the power hand. Rumet in orthodox stance. Those lead hands will clash at times. 
inside leg kick from Rumet, then goes up higher off the back leg. Thought about the front kick of the Estonian. Elbows on the inside. Knees now from Marie Rumet. Rumet with a 44% finishing rate. 12 of 27 wins by knockout. Does give up a gap in experience of some 23 matches. Front kick off the left leg there from Marie Rumet. Chance for the elbows. Double forearm guard from Little Tiger. Got to watch how many of those round kicks you take on the forearms. Rumet can really sling with those long legs. Nice lean back encounter there from Little Tiger. First minute almost down. Second round set for three. Was impressed by Marie Rumet in the opening round, particularly with her clinch game. But we're seeing some good work on the outside here from Little Tiger in the second. Clinched up again. Knees to the upper left rib cage from Marie Rumet. Little Tiger. Flicks away the jab. Good right hand down the centre corridor. Threaded it nicely, did Marie Rumet. Little Tiger, though, full of tenacity, always coming forward. If you've watched her career, Little Tiger has never let her height disadvantage her. She's mostly been smaller than all of her opponents, but she's won so many world titles and done so in high-quality fashion over a very long time. Has never seen herself as a short athlete. What's that old saying, Dragon? It's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. There's a lot of fight in the guts and intestinal fortitude always of Little Tiger. Round kick there from Marie Rumet. Checks the low kick, does Little Tiger. 45 seconds to go in this second round of three. Round kick, counter left hand there from a Little Tiger. You can see it's the kicks now of Marie Rumet. The counter crosses down the centre off that left hand of Little Tiger. Outside leg kick, high on the thigh from Marie Rumet. Misses with the right hand. Body shot there from Tiger. Goes for the belly button, then goes upstairs. Does Marie Rumet? Tiger slings the legs, moves into the clinch. Rumet throws the knees, a chance for the elbows. Can't get them off though, a little too close here. Final seconds of the round. They'll end it in the clinch. Referee moves in, we go to the towels after two dragon. Little Tiger made some good adjustments inside the clinch. She was more active with the knees, but Rumet changed things up as well by keeping Tiger at distance, utilizing those kicks and just uh, attacking and landing leg kicks and body kicks. I like how Rumet is also able to change her tempo. She realized that things could go a different way and they started to and she adjusted. Little Tiger's just gotta be more active. She's gotta create those angles and not go linearly with Rumet. She's got that reach on her. So Tiger needs to create angles in this last round. She did a lot better in this one. It wasn't so it was dominated by the Rumet clinch. So she was active, but I think that round also is gonna go to Rumet. Tiger needs to let it all hang out. Attack the body, attack the head, go for big knockout shots. With little gloves, Tiger carries that knockout power, but she's gonna have a hard time dealing with the range and the distance that Rumet seems to be able to control. Just, just, just. Ah! Third and final round here between Little Tiger and Marie Rumet. And once again, the pace and the early high kick there from Little Tiger. If you've seen Little Tiger compete over the years, you know that she's renowned for her leg kicks, but tonight she's chosen to bring the boxing in a lot more. Perhaps here in the final three minutes, time to go to the legs of Marie Rumet, trying to slow Rumet down, trying to prevent Rumet from getting her locked in the clinch. Nice high kick there from Little Tiger. Rumet sticks out the jab. Good long reach on the jab there from Marie Rumet. Jab two from Marie Rumet. 20 years old versus 37 year old. Both on one Super Series debut here. Fakes off the front leg, low check there from Little Tiger. Marie Rumet goes high. Round kick from Marie Rumet. Double jab, no leg kicks for company though from Little Tiger. You see Rumet trying to pull her down for the greet and meet. And just a spill in the center of the ring there for Little Tiger. 
who will get the first win on the board in one Super Series. Jabbing at a southpaw starts, Little Tiger. Here's where she needs those leg kicks. Little Tiger trying to get on the inside to work the boxing. Rumek keeping her at bay nicely with that front kick off the ropes. Checks a low kick, moves into a clinch. Good transition, short-range knee there from Marie Rumet. They tango and referee breaks them. Little Tiger does have a black belt in karate. Long-time martial arts exponent since she was a young girl. Again, the clinch here from Marie Rumet. Referee separates them. It's been a tremendously entertaining contest. A real battle of styles here. Between a very tall opponent and a short one. Ten centimetres height difference. But really, in this game, you can be that much taller than your opponent unless you know how to use that God-given advantage. It's of no use. You look at, let's say, the old K1 days. Semi Schultz, who was six foot eleven, a four-time K1 Grand Prix champion, because he knew how to use his height advantage. Whereas you had Hongman Choi, who was seven foot three, the tallest kickboxer in history, but really had no idea how to use that incredible height advantage. Marie Ramita again trying to lock on the grapple. A little tiger just throws her off. 25 seconds on the clock now. Gets out of the way of the round kick there. Does little tiger. Goes to the legs. But I am surprised we haven't seen more leg kicks from little tiger. Rimet comes forward with the right hand. Back off right hand there off the lead hand from little tiger. Round kick from Rimet. High kick from little tiger. Both ladies trading. You see Little Tiger on the inside, throwing the combination to the corner. Right hand down the centre. Ends the round for Marie Rimet. Folks, we're going down to the judges again here in Bangkok. How do you score it? Do you have it for Marie Rimet or do you have it for Little Tiger? Your thoughts, Dragon. Maria Rumet is not slow. She's got good speed, and she's able to utilize her reach extremely well. She's picking apart Tiger on the outside, but Tiger's more active. She's moving in and out faster as the match went on, so her gas tank wasn't the problem. She just didn't build enough volume into her shots. She allowed Marie Rumet to kind of really dictate where this match took place, and it was at her range. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner from the red corner, Marie Rume. A great victory on one Super Series debut for Marie Rumet. The constant clinching, the knees, and the use of the length wins the day for the 20-year-old Estonian. Congratulations, Marie Rumet. Impressive performance, wasn't it? You worked with Marie. Rich, has she got a big future? Yeah, I actually, I recruited her for one Warrior Series when I was in Thailand, and the way that she executed her match here is exactly the same way that she sparred yeah. me when I was in the ring with her. Yeah, an exciting talent.